Hello and welcome to this A3 tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to go through how we can find the current in a delta load when one of the lines that's feeding that delta load goes faulty. Uh, this is, for some, they when this presented with this problem, it appears initially confusing, but um, if we go back to first principles, it's actually quite straightforward to solve. So first of all, let's refresh the delta load that we're going to talk about and here's the line here, we'll call this line A and we've got a load here, a load here we'll call this line B and we'll call this line C uh, we'll give these some impedances just to, to go through for our calculations and we'll just call this one 5 ohms this one's 6 and this one's 7. Uh, keeping the impedances uh, to be real, uh, purely resistive, just to help with the calculations we're going to be doing. Of course, if they were uh, they had a reactive component, uh, the process would be the same. The calculation would be just slightly more complex. Now, with a three-phase system, we know that we have 400 volts here with a phase angle of 30 degrees. We have 400 here with an angle of minus 90 and we have 400 here with an angle of minus 220 210 I should have said sorry so there's our three phase system and what we're going to do is we're going to look at this here's our delta load our three phases going into it what happens how much current is going to be drawn by this system if one of these go phases, if one of these lines goes faulty. So we'll, for argument's sake, we'll make it a one-on-one. -on -one. So we're going to say here, and we're going to call this our fault. So to, con to look at what's going on here, it's probably easiest to actually redraw that in a way that's a little bit easier to look at. And we'll, I'll do that just over here. So over here, we have our line A that's coming in, which is connected off to this impedance and to line B and in parallel with that we have our 6 ohms and our 7 ohms like that we have 400 volts at 30 degrees across here line C is faulty we've got a fault here if that fault wasn't in existence we would have a path up there, but as I've pointed out, we have a fault there. So this is essentially our circuit. It's very simple. We've got our three impedances. Uh, if it wasn't for that line fault, that is identical to that, uh, allowing for the voltages that would exist across here. If we were to put those in there. We can see pretty straightforward and easily that the imp total impedance of the circuit, which is going to define the current drawn through here, we're getting a current drawn by these impedances, a current drawn by this impedance, and the total current in each of these legs will be this current here. But to find the total current, we need to find the total impedance, and the total impedance here is quite simply 5 ohms in parallel. 6 and 7 and we can solve that using the sort of stuff that you probably learned at high school or certainly in first year. The total impedance there is 1 over 1 over each of these so it's 1 over that plus 1 over 6 plus 7 um, and that is 1 over 5 0 0.2 1 over 13 0.077 which is 1 over 0.277 you solve that there and you have 3.61 ohms so we know that the total impedance of the circuit as seen by this voltage here bear in mind this one's faulty the total impedance of this is actually 3.61 at this stage we can do our first uh, what one could call a rationality check and you know that a, the total 
impedance of something in parallel should be less than either of those values, and it is. 3.6 is less than 5. 3.6 is less than 13, so that suggests that our maths is not wrong. Okay, now back to the question, how much current's being drawn? So we now know that our equivalent circuit is essentially our 400 volts at 30 across an impedance of 3.61 ohms. That's easy to solve. Ohm's law, current, tells us it's voltage over resistance, 430 over 3.61 gives us a total impedance, uh, total current drawn of 400 divided by 3.61, 110 at an angle of 30. And so that's our solution. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, apart from that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Thank you.